Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Automate with Piyush. Myself Piyush Agarwal, UiPath MVP 2023 and an RP, UiPath RP developer. It has been very long since I have created my last YouTube video. Many issues, many things going around but I'm back. With the latest video, more contents. Though yeah, I would still need your help to come up with more ideas. So. If you guys have any doubts, solutions you want, any queries, always reach out to me. I will be creating a video for you. So for today's uh, video's topic is bulk add queue item. But we already know about that. There is a simple activity bulk add queue items right in front of us, which can directly send the data from a data table to orchestrator queue. That's nice. Now, if we see how it works, let me just run the bot. To show what actually this video is about. Okay, so now I had some rows in my data table, which I go over here. Three new queue items are added, but I don't know out of these three items, which item has what value. You know, like. That is the problem with the bulk add queue item if we use it as it is. There is no reference for each act, each column or anything. And if I go in here for advanced options, there is no property which lets me set the reference value for my queue item. Now, if you are from a prod support or you are someone who handles the queues, the action items, it travels transactions yourself, this is a very really big problem. Because if something fails or you want to retry a particular queue item, you will have to go in each queue item, click on triple dot, go to details and find out, is this the one that I want to retry? Maybe no, maybe I'll have to go to the next one. And there could be hundreds of queue items. So reference is a very uh, like important feed required. Now, to do to add the reference with bulk add queue item, a general practice would be hey, I can use a for each loop and instead of using bulk add, maybe I can use add queue item activity. Okay. That is one approach, but that is not the best approach because when you add a loop, you are increasing the execution time for your bot. So, there is a quick and easy way. Let me show you. Going back to UI path, now this is the trick this video is actually about. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new column to my table, say add data column and I will give it name as reference and let's give my data table name which is DD rows. Now to add the reference for each row, I can simply use one assign activity. I will target this reference column that I have just added, DD rows dot columns. reference and dot expression this expression method is going to indicate what value i want within this call so i already had two columns i've added a new column but right now that was blank i want it to be populated with a specific value so if i go over here there are two columns name and role position if i want to make the reference as name i will write it as name simple and if I want it as a role position, then since it has a space between the naming words, so I will have to put it within square brackets. So role position. Let me just confirm the name. Role position. That's correct. Ignore the percentage sign that is visible in the assign activity because if you see the set value over here, it shows the correct expression. Now we are going to simply rerun the bot. Now, our expectation is that we will get the rules as a reference within the queue item and we are not using any kind of for loop. Okay, bot has executed successfully and if I refresh, hey, we have got our references right over here. So, if I just want to check my item, I know I have a position of RP developer, new details and it belongs to Piyush. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. 
Before closing of the video, I have an announcement. My friend Nikhilesh he is organizing a solution architect series for all the guys who are interested. We will. It will be a daily one to one point five hours of training, starting from thirtieth August to sixth of September. If you guys are really interested in learning and improving in your career ladder, do join this series. It will be virtual. You can join from anywhere. Okay. Hope you guys like my video. If you have any doubt, please feel free to reach out to me. You can mention in the comment section or send out me an email. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.